hospitality because you always say this at the end of every one of our episodes, David. You're always saying, they can't hurt me. I'm already at this other level. I'm always this other level. I am this energy level and that's why I'm fearless and that's why they'll never have control of me. You've always yeah. been there. And, and that's not because I'm Buddha sitting cross-legged on a mountain or under a tree. It's because I remember who I am and what I am and that is the same everybody else's. Right. Everybody else's. And I said once in one of our chats, um, I think I looked at the camera or something, and I said to this cult, I'm coming for you. You're not going to succeed. And you can't stop me. And I am. And they can't. And they're not. Know who you are. And it's over. Believe who they want you to believe you are. Tyranny. Because they have no power over you when you are thinking that way. None. They have no power. Right, exactly. Their power is the power we give them. And we must not fall for the idea, all these demons, they're ever so... People are believing it. These demons are ever so powerful. They're not bloody powerful at all. They're a bunch of prats. That's what they are. But they're very skilled at getting us to give our power to them, which they recycle back against us as control and tyranny through acquiescence. That's what they're skilled at. But they're a bunch of prats. Have you seen Bill Gates? You know, is there life on Bill Gates? I see no, I see no evidence. Klaus Schwab, have you seen him? He's a pillock. He's a prat. He's a gopher. Oh, Klaus Schwab, he's got so much... Oh, shut up. Shut up. We've got to understand where the real power is. It's with us. And if we stop giving it away, they have none. You see, the very fact that you are in a state of perception, that you want control over others, you want power over others, you get off from their suffering, indeed you feed off the energy of their suffering, that's all part of it, when that Morpheus character in the Matrix held the battery up and said the machines have turned humans into one of these, that's exactly what's happening because they're feeding off our energy, low vibrational energy, and they can only feed off our low vibrational energy because they're in a state of low vibrational uh, awareness. And so if you want power over people and you, want, you get off on people's suffering, you are in a very low vibrational, very limited state of stupidity and ignorance. That's not powerful. The way they've done it is that they are hoarding knowledge about how this all works and they're keeping it from the population by selling us an illusion. And so the, this cult has a, a, a major symbol, which is the all-seeing eye. You see it on the dollar bill. You see it on the reverse of the Great Seal of the United States. You see it many, many different places, the all-seeing eye. It's a single eye, right? Very appropriate. Because nothing is more descriptive of this cult and its demonic masters than in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. They are the one-eyed man and they control us only by making us blind. 